Okay, we're asked to write the equation of the reciprocal of sine that's reflected in the x-axis and vertically displaced down to. Okay, remember a transformation form is a times the type of function and then in parentheses we have b times the quantity x minus h and plus k. That's the transformation form for any type of function. Um, our type of function is the reciprocal of the sine and the reciprocal of sine is the cosecant. So our f in the uh, transformation form will be the cosecant function. It has been reflected in the x-axis. That tells us that the a out front, that coefficient on the function, is negative. So a is less than zero. And then vertically displaced down to, that's the k, uh, the vertical displacement. And since we're going down, the k is going to be a negative. So when we put that information together to write the equation, a is negative, the type of function is cosecant, there's been no phase shift and no change in period, so we just have an x, and then the vertical displacement is down 2, and we subtract 2 from the end for the k and that would be the equation that meets those criteria. In 29 asks us to write the equation of cosine, so that's our type of function, and cosine needed to be phase shifted to the left pi over 6 units. Phase shift is the h, and if we're going to the left, then we have a negative h. So h is negative pi over 6. And then vertically displaced up 1 is the k. Since we're going up, the k is positive. So when we put that information into our transformation form, a times f, the type of function, times the quantity b times x minus h plus k, that is going to be the cosine of the quantity x plus pi over 6, because we're going to the left, and then plus 1 for the vertical displacement. The A is 1, there's no change in amplitude. The B is also 1 because there was no change in period. The H is negative pi over 6, and remember in transformation form it's x minus H, and minus a negative is a positive, so x plus pi over 6, and then outside the function is our vertical displacement of 1. Eight, number 30 asks us to identify the amplitude. Amplitude is the A value in absolute value. So since our A is negative 4, the amplitude is going to be positive 4. Okay, next we're asked to identify the period. The period of the cosine function is 2 pi, and to find the period of this graph, we divide that by the b. And the b in our equation is 5, so the period of this graph is 2 pi divided by 5. Okay, next, we want to identify the phase shift. Phase shift is the h and h has the opposite sign of what's in front of it in the function. So our phase shift is going to be negative pi. Since it's negative, that tells us that it's moved to the left pi units with respect to the parent graph of cosine. Okay, then the vertical displacement is the k in our equation. 
and since the sine is the same, our k is negative 3, that tells me that our graph has gone down 3 units with respect to the parent graph of cosine. And then to identify any reflections, we look at the a and the b. Since our a is negative, that's a reflection in the x-axis, a is less than zero. So it reflects in the x-axis. And then to look for a reflection in the y-axis, we check out the b. And the b is positive, so there's been no reflection in the y-axis.